Greetings in the name of Yahuwah and his son Yahusha HaMashiach. My name is Malak Shalomo and I'm going to do a trade recap on my trade on ES. Um, this is my first time trading ES futures so it was a little it was a little nerve wracking man and um, I had to kind of get used to um, contract sizes and how much that actually means and um, to kind of get the risk management together and I probably should have got that together before I actually jumped into the trading but I was um I was actually planning my trade so that was kind of like a last minute thing when I I had to kind of evaluate what what um kind of contract am I trading is it a micro or a mini right so <clears throat> I think I got to find out that it was actually a, a micro. So, kind of found out that too late, but I'm gonna show you what I did. So today is, um, I don't know if I said the date already, it's the 14th of February, 2023. It's 11.30 a.m., so um, let's jump into this. Um, this is actually my first time using Ninja Trader, so this is the platform you're seeing here. And um, let's see, so, in my notes, um, in my trade plan, right, um, the Camarilla setup, which is the pivots I'm using here, like R3, S3, and I also use the floor pivot, pivot level, which is that PP line right there, the blue line, and S4 is down here, that's the Camarilla level, and this R1 level here is the floor pivot level, R1, right, so, let's see, so on my notes I was, um, I stated that it was a high va higher value two day relationship, which is it's a bullish setup, right? I was looking for buys at S3, or if it it starts selling off and breaks down below S3, I look to short S3, right? So probably wait for like a little retest on S3 and short S3, right? So if it was um, pushing up bullish, I would look for like maybe a buy at R3 or R3 breakout, right? So R3 breakout, if it's bearish, S3 retest and sell, right? So um, one thing I made note of was that the volume profile was a B-shape, which it was like bottom heavy. And um, that's like weak structure on top, right? So the Camarilla R3 would be a resistance level in that situation, right? So... If we were coming up here at R3, I made note that the volume profile was a B shape, which is a top heavy kind of profile, well, bottom heavy, and it's a weak structure on top, so price could fail at R3. So, um, possible mean reversion kind of trade, right? So, let's see here how this played out, right? Um, Right, so this is my first entry here. Um, two contracts at 41, 24, 75. And this was the S3 breakdown, right? So I waited for it to break. This, You see this um, golden kind of um, level I, I put here, this level and that level. That's called a golden pivot zone because it has the S3 Camarillas and the floor pivot level kind of in the same proximity so it's creating a, a a strong level of support right so i waited for it to break down past this level because we were selling off going into the open right so um well we kind of broke like a little structure going into the open i'm gonna show that on um book map in a second so took this cell right here and it pushed down and it pulled back up so i eventually just broke even the trade. now this is when i thought i was kind of trading um mini contracts right so i thought to myself let me up my size right so i put on 10 contracts when and um let's see um sold here and sold here and then um this one pulled back on me stopped out so this cell here was at um let's see where's the entry at 41 20 
dot fifty, right? And that that stopped out at um, I think it's forty one twenty six. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me get it correct. So, right. So the first cell entry on top here, right? Ten contracts was at forty one twenty five, right? And um, let's see here. Let me make sure this is correct. 41.25, right? So this is the cell at 41.25, and that stopped out at 41.26, right? Which is right here. So that that was a loss. Um, believe I took another one here. Cell entry at 41.20.50. And that stopped out at 41.23, right? So, uh, man, that 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 right there that really messed up my my whole PNL and everything, man. So, I was kind of I was when I looked at my PNL, I was like, man, this is crazy, man. I kind of messed up real bad right here, you know. So, um, I actually stopped out here again as well. On one of these here, 4126, 4123, and let's see, 412775, but I'm not seeing that one here. Oh, I think it's kind of, it's crossing over this, this one right here. That's why I'm not seeing it too well. But anyway, so going on to the, well, let me just show you on, on book map. How I took this trade here. So let me switch over to book map. Right. So let's see. So this was the entry right here. You see, we started to sell off, and I took the the retest. Right. So the retest was at. Um, let's see here. First entry was. 41.24.75. Right. So that's the first trade right there. 41.24.75 right so that was my entry right there 41.24.75 right so that was the the pullback retest and then took that down first five minutes um I probably I don't know if I should have really trailed my stop too tight. I think this this trail was good enough. It was kind of like a break even trade. So I just kind of held around. Let's see. I, I covered here at um 4123.75. So when we pull back here to 4123.75 right around this level right here when we broke above this level i just stopped out on that trade so that was the trade on book map um to kind of you know coincide with what i'm showing you on my um price chart right so let's come back over here to my price chart right so let's see so this next trade here um after this this mess i did here with the the 10 lot size i actually kept the the lot size um the 10 lot size still and i did like a buy entry here at 41 34 25 um that pushed up a little bit and before it broke even um i just stopped out here because it started having this weak rejection so i wasn't too convinced of it pushing further up so this kind of recovered recovered some of the loss and um this right here was a a sell entry for a further breakdown because i was seeing the weakness at the wick at the s1 level on the camarillas and um, that pushed down a little bit found some support above um, vwap so broke even that trade and then again took a buy entry right here and um that pushed up and it started to pull back i guess at r3 so camarilla r3 so i stopped out here um got some more back 
from from the loss I took, right? But at this point, I, I went back to a one contract size, right? So this trade here and this trade here was a one contract size, right? So after these these um, these losses here from the 10 contracts, so this was a little regaining of um, the losses. And then I went back to the one and the one, right? Excuse me. Right, so um, let's see here. Around what time was this? 10.15? That's when I closed out this trade. So let me go over to Bookmap and find what I was looking at. And actually at 10.05, um, the VPOC finally moved up. So it was looking bullish. Price was holding above um, above the VPOC right here. So let's see here. That's when I took, at 10.05, I took that buy entry at, um, let's see, 41.53.50, right? So at 10.05, 41.53.50. Where is it? Ten oh five. Where is it? Where is it? Let's see here. Forty one fifty seven. Well, I guess on the five minute candle here, it's it's on um, the first five minute candle. So the time is a little different, right? So you see right here, it's, it's saying 10.05. So within this candle time frame on book map, you could see here, this is where right around this level here at 41.53.50 that's when i took this buy um buy out this buy entry right here because I had the push up retest um let's see let's make this a little bigger right so we had this push up right here retest which was a higher low right so jumped in here at 41.53.50 and rolled that up till um 41.58.75 so let's see 41.58 right so around here so we hit this resistance here and i guess um i just decided to stop out right so but let let me see what time that was because i gotta get it right so 10 15. so i actually held this trade through this kind of um, sideways movement so 10 15 and stopped out at 41.58 actually so let's see let's find it here at So in this five minute candle, it would have to be, man, this is a little different here. Hold on, hold on. Just bear with me here, you know I mean? This is the first time I'm using NinjaTrader, so 
look, let me show you right here ninja trader is showing that the entry here the stop out here was at 41.58.75 right at 10.15 right 41.58.25 right so let's go back over to book map and if I can't find it I'm not gonna stick too long on it I just wanna kinda make this video for the the competition and stuff so um don't wanna be too drawn out 41.58.75 but it had to be in the first five minutes Well, I'm not finding it right here, so anyway, we'll move on. Go back, going back to to my trading platform here on Ninja Trader. So here, um, took this buy entry right here. Um, failed to break above. Um, let's see, break above our tree. So had some stop outs here. Um, that pulled me back a little bit. Nothing too, nothing too major, cause took the buy right here um at 41.66.25 and this pullback and stopped out these positions right here right so this here was another entry i believe so as it was one contract so took a buy here stopped out and then i took a sell so the entry here was 41.61.75 so let's see which one here 41 61 75 right so this was the first buy this was the stop out and then i took another sell right here which pulled back on me and i had to stop out here at um 41 66 75 so this short here was at 41 61 75 stopped out here at 41 66 75 so this is where the trade got interesting for me this is where i actually did something you know some good trading right so let's see here um this entry was at 1025 so let me go over to book map and find what i was looking at here i hope bruce doesn't disqualify me for for being a little drawn out let's see bear with me bear with me let me actually go over to this here so you can see what i'm doing so 1025 all right 1025 bring this down right so this is where we started to top out here so um let's see something here real quick right so you can see my camera r3 level is right here let's see i have that in my notes i draw those up in the in the morning when i get my camera levels from my my trading platform so this is r3 here right so we're topping out at r3 right we're getting the lower highs right you can see we're breaking down so my entry was at 4165 exactly right so let's see here at 1025 4165 so let's see And there it is right there and I actually I've, I've been listening to a lot of Tom B's um, webinars so he he's talking uh, he talks a lot about like when when the character of the the price action changes right and when you get these breakdowns you get retests right so this was this was a breakdown here we hit the puck level which is this line right here we pull back up to this 41.65 um, let's see here 
right we pulled back up to around 4167 and we started to break down again so when we broke down again we're breaking down from this camarilla um our tree level right so i use the pivots as my levels of um rejection and support right so when we had this this rejection here which is a lower high let me let me make sure i'm using right so lower high maybe i should use a white right right so lower high right here from these levels and this is my entry right here at 4165 so let's see here right so exactly 4165 that's where i entered and you can see that on the platform here as well 4165 and i just trail my stop down after that and i was using bookmap to trail my stop down so let's look at all the levels here as we move down 4165 had these pullbacks um trailed, trailed my stop to like around 4166.25 um wait hold on all right let me get the right area this is the entry right so when we broke down here had um as you can see here this is exhaustion no buying up at this um offer level right here on the ask so trail my stop to down to around 41.64 had this push down again broke vpoc which is this level right here right so that's vpoc so broke vpoc and um let's see put my stop here again trailing the stop down and let's see again we had a nice breakdown on the retest. You see we retest VPOC level right here. Had a nice little swoop down. So I didn't I didn't put my stop too close to this level because I know when we have these nice little sweeps and I don't have like the, the stop um stop indicators or the MBO um package. So I can't really see exactly what's happening here. But I could see the price action and the, the volume bubbles, right? So I could see it swooping down. I don't know what's going on if if um, icebergs are being bought or anything like that, but I'm going with what I'm seeing, and I'm being a little cautious, right? Because I know when pi when price swoops down, it could always pull back and retest just the just the sweep, right? So I put my stop like probably around like forty one sixty twenty five at the breakout level and um then when we broke again we had another sweep that's when i came down to this level here at 4158.25 right so we got some support pulled back i was looking at this structure right here because we didn't break we didn't break these lows too good right and we were having like a a, a deep pullback right so i was reassured that we didn't because i didn't move my stop from around this level here after we swept down right when we pull back here i'm still keeping it around this level because of the sweep right in case we get something like this so we pull back my stop was right above here and then we had the exhaustion again and kept moving lower right so we move lower into this high um high bid right here heavy bid um took out this heavy bid had a little bounce consolidation right there a little auction as tom b says um pull back we retest this level right here that we broke from continued moving lower we had some sideways movement right and at this point um let's see with the big sweep i think my my stop was still here right when we pull back created this lower high that's when i moved my stop to this level right here 41.50.75 and then we had this big breakdown of vwap so this line right here is vwap right that's vwap had that big breakdown from vwap and um at that point i was like okay this is this is time to secure some profits so even though we had this big sweep um 
I did trail my stop down after we pulled back. So when we got this pull back and we stopped right here, I trailed my stop down to like around 41, 43, 25. Had another breakdown, pull back. Trail my stop again to around 41, 41, 25. Had a nice little sweep down again, waiting for the pull back. Trail my stop again to 41, 37. And now we're starting to approach my target, right? Which was 41, 30, 25, just above Camarilla S3, which was around let's see here let's go back to my platform so you could get the exact number all right so the camera will s3 was at 412975 right so you can see that right there camera will s3 approximately 412970 right Right, going back to book map and trail my stop here put my stop at 41 to the 350 and then just let it hit my target after that so hit my target at around 41 30 let's see what 41 30 50 right so that's where my target was hit just above Camarilla S3 so let's see what happened here we, we broke down further as well we had a nice little kind of reversal today. Mean reversion or... Yeah, I think I guess you could call it a mean reversion. Because it was like the notes I, I, had, I had put earlier. I was talking about the volume profile being a, a, a B shape, right? Which is bottom heavy. So all the volume is at the bottom. And it's a weak structure on top. So the camera will R3 is resistance. And I actually got that trade. So yeah, that was my trade today, man. Um, first time trading ES Futures. It came out nicely. Had a nice little camera will rejection R3 to S3. And let me see. Let me see where we're at. Right, so we're kind of just bouncing around Camarilla S3 at the moment, kind of pushing back up above, pulling back, pushing up, pulling back, might retest it again. So the puck is moving wrong a little bit as well. So it's trying to find if if it wants to move lower, I guess. Um, and let's see, is there any heavy liquid liquidity down here? no relief for targets targets are really right here at like 4100 so probably we'll get to 4100 if the weakness continues you know so yeah that's my trade recap on my first day trading es futures um it was a profitable trade made a little mistake right here with um with the the contract sizes right here took too much size um had to stop out that put me in the hole but regained some some of it right here uh, made some made a nice little trade here regained a little bit and actually got the nice monster trade right here from the r3 rejection triple top right there and took it back down to s3 right so bruce i hope that wasn't too long um and i must submit it into the chat I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys um, understand my my explanation of my strategies and stuff like that. So it's all good. My name is Malak Shalomo and you all trade safe and stay blessed.